Today is July the 28th, 2022, and about exactly a year ago today, I went on a work trip and came back and felt really sick, uh, very short of breath, low oxygen saturation, fever, chills. Um, even coughing and basically all the classic COVID symptoms that tested negative for COVID several times. I was sick for maybe a couple of weeks and then it kind of lingered for a couple of weeks after that. Um, when it finally went away, I all of a sudden developed this really sharp pain just right underneath my neck right here and felt that I had a very large swollen lymph node that was very painful to touch. I couldn't turn my head left and I couldn't look up uh, without the pain shooting across my neck. I left it alone and eventually went away on its own. Um, after a couple of weeks, and then all of a sudden I started having um, lots of headaches and high blood pressure. So I went to go see my PCP, got started on blood pressure medication, and like a week later, came back. Couldn't turn my head, couldn't look up, down, whatever. Same swollen lymph node. Um, it was painful to swallow. Didn't have a sore throat, just had trouble swallowing. So my PCP ordered lab work on me, and my white blood cell count was high, my platelets were high, my lymph count was high, and my um, some of my other white blood cells, can't remember exactly. Anyway, so we didn't think a whole lot of it. He said it's probably just reactive lymph nodes responding to some type of upper respiratory infection. So it happened again, and so I went to an urgent care center, and they gave me all kinds of steroid shots, put me on a ton of antibiotics, and said, you know, your lymph nodes are responding to something that's probably COVID, even though I tested negative for COVID. So went away after like a week, and then came back, and then lasted like a whole month. So I went back to my PCP. And I was just ending my um, antibiotics that the urgent care had prescribed me. And my PCP put me on antibiotics for 30 days. So at the end of those 30 days, I was still getting that pain coming and going, coming and going. Um, antibiotics didn't help. My PCP then referred me over to an ear, nose, and throat doctor. Did some more lab work, same white blood, blood cell count, platelets were high, lymph, lymphocytes were high, CRP high. And so he ordered a CAT scan, and the CAT scan showed I had several swollen lymph nodes on both sides of my neck, the posterior side of my neck, which is behind your neck. Um, and there was one on the left side of my neck that was suspicious for cancer. So I went to go see the ear, nose, and throat doctor, and he's like, oh, it's probably mono. Or, or you've probably got tonsillitis. Well, my tonsils were taken out when I was like eight. So it can be tonsillitis. And mono, well, I haven't been drinking after anybody or anything like that. Um, don't quite know where I would get mono from. Um, can we test for mono? And which he did not test for mono. Um, he was just like, well, I mean, that's typical for anyone with swollen lymph nodes. It's normally something like that or TB. Well, I definitely don't have TB. Um, I probably know it by based off the way I'm breathing and everything else. So the ear, nose, and throat doctor said, let's do an ultrasound. Of your thyroid. Did an ultrasound on my thyroid, saw that my lymph nodes had in fact grown even bigger over a one week time span. 
So this was in January that he did this ultrasound. And he's like, man, they grew over the last week compared to the CAT scan. And he did some more lab work, same elevated white blood cells, lymphocytes. He's like, but he's like, I'm not overly concerned about your labs yet. It's weird that they've been high this long, but I'm not really concerned about it. Nothing looks super suspicious. Probably just reactive lymph nodes. So he said, come back in six months. Well, six months later, I had follow-up labs with my PCP. And all the same stuff was high on my labs. And same swollen lymph nodes. I could fill them on my neck. Constantly popping up and then reducing in size. Enlarging again and reducing in size. And then... I told my PCP, do you really feel like I'm seeing the right kind of doctor? And he says, what do you mean? I said, I don't know. I feel like I'm not seeing the right kind of doctor. Maybe I should be seeing a hematologist. And he said, well, whatever you want to do. So he referred me over to a hematologist, but he's like, let's wait a couple of months before you go see that hematologist. Let's wait till you have your repeat ultrasound. Well, I'm a very um, impatient person. So I, me being a registered nurse, talked to the doctors at work and some of my doctors at work said, looking at your labs and some of the symptoms that you've had, you should really probably go see that hematologist right away. Why are you waiting? Why? It's already been almost a whole year. Why have you waited this long? And I said, well, no one wants to send me to the hematologist. Everyone keeps pushing me back six months. Now, given over the last year, I have had occasional night sweats, occasional fever, occasional chills, um, really that's about it other than some headaches and the swollen lymph nodes have been constant. Now whether or not they cause me pain, well that's come and gone. So in June I did a repeat ultrasound and my lymph nodes had grown even bigger but not significantly but they are bigger on both sides of my neck. And um, my doctor finally agreed to go ahead and refer me over to the hematologist. So I went to go see the hematologist and unfortunately he says, well, you got to have the lymph node taken out completely before um, I can do any other test on you. Otherwise your insurance is going to deny it. That's just how the insurance companies work. And I can't really treat something if I don't know what it is and, and if we don't biopsy the problem. So he wanted the ear, nose, and throat doctor to do it. Of course, one doctor doesn't like being told what to do by the other doctor, so they got a little bit in a pissing contest, but my ear, nose, and throat doctor decided um, he agrees he's going to take it out. So we are now July 28th, 2022, um, a year later, and I am scheduled for a excisional biopsy um, of my lymph node on the left side of my neck um, on August the 1st. So I will be going in for that and once they take that out a week later I should have my results if they don't call me sooner. Um, so anyway that's kind of where I'm at. Right now there's my um, hematologist says it is lymphoma until proven otherwise. Ear, nose, and throat doctor says, oh, we definitely need to do a lymphoma workup. But previously he was like, no, it's just reactive lymph nodes. Maybe it's mono or something. Who knows? So I don't really know anymore. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So after my biopsy, once I have more results, I will make another video. And continue with my story. Alright, bye.